was good y'all rich so so checking back in and i just want to say thank y'all so much to the rich gang family as well as any supporters that are coming through watching this video today thank y'all for having me a part of y'all day y'all evening y'all night whenever you are watching this and thank y'all for the special time that we are about to share together y'all but again y'all i just want y'all to know that i'm going to continue to bring y'all the latest the greatest the rarest and the best builds in nba 2k dropping every single build on both consoles but as you can see the build that i'm bringing y'all today is the deep range shot creator y'all now i honestly like this build because of the name but we're going to be able to get that lockdown takeover we're also going to be really effective when it comes to the stats and i enjoy the bad setup that we put together when it comes to this so before we get into it man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new y'all to the rich gang family and all the supporters be sure to run up those likes now let's go ahead and get into the making of this deep brain shot creator now as you can see if you are already paying attention i made it out of the small forward position i am pretty sure that you can make this build out of multiple positions i'm more than sure you can make it out of the shooting guard pretty sure you could also do it out of the point guard but again i found it out of the small forward and i actually like the bad setup that i ended up coming up with when it comes to this build i went back and forth with the attributes and the stats trying to get the best physicals so let's go ahead and get right into it so with the height we're going to be going with this 6 8 the weight it's really optional, but I'm going to go with 185. The wingspan we're going to go with as well is going to be 6'8". And when it comes to the body shape, we're going to go with the find, y'all. It's all based on preference when it comes to that. But I personally enjoy this one just because of this specific build. And honestly, it's not going to be a build to where you're going to want to really use it in the paint too often. But again, that's not saying that you can't use it there. I'm just trying to give y'all some suggestions and what I think is best. And honestly, the bad setup that we're going to get with this is really going to make this build so versatile especially when it comes to things like when we play paint defense or when we get switched onto the center y'all so again keep that into consideration when it comes to making this build now let's go ahead and get right into it when it comes to the finishing what we're going to go ahead and do when it comes to your driving layup go ahead and put that at 83 when it comes to your driving dunk max it out at 84 and with your standing dunk we're going to go ahead and put that at 66 our post control is going to be maxed out so that's going to be at 83 and that's going to give us exactly 11 finishing badges y'all so i'm telling y'all right here if you change any of these numbers you do risk getting a different build name so that's something that i wouldn't suggest doing especially when it comes to the shooting so we're going to go with an 82 mid-range shot as well as a 92 three-pointer y'all and if you change anything about your midi you will be getting a different build name and your free throw we're going to put up to a 92 as well and that's going to give you 22 shooting badges y'all so that's really good for that start when it comes to the shooting let's go ahead and get into the playmaking go ahead and put your pass accuracy at 79 if you go anything higher than that you will be getting a different build name now when it comes to the ball handle go ahead and put that at 80 and put your speed with ball at an 82 that's going to give us 13 playmaking badges now let's go to the defense y'all we're not going to be touching our interior defense perimeter defense will be an 87 steel we're skipping that our block will be an 80 when it comes to the offensive rebound put that at 61 when it comes to your defensive go ahead and max this out at 86 y'all and that's going to give you 10 defensive badges y'all so a really well balanced setup i enjoy it now let's go ahead and get into the physicals y'all know i like maxing these out as much as i possibly can y'all so go ahead and put your speed at 85 put your acceleration at 82 vertical at 88 and go ahead and max out your stamina you could put that at 91 or 93 but again i don't want to risk changing the build name you could really put these extra attributes towards your defense if you want to but again i'm going to leave it at that now let's go ahead and check out the takeovers as y'all can see we get the slashing we're also going to be able to get the sharp shooting i like the fact that we're going to be able to get the lockdown takeover for this build this makes this build so much better especially when it comes to the defensive side because we will 
will need it having 10 defensive badges which is a good setup but honestly it just makes it that much better having the takeovers on now when it comes to this build we're also going to be getting post scoring takeover so that's something to consider if you want to be hitting post scoring shots y'all now from here i'm going to go with limitless range for my first one it's really all based on what y'all want to do and your play style you can even pick double lockdown if you want to but just to help me out more on the defensive side the second one that i'm going to pick is extreme clamps now let's go ahead and check out the build name and as y'all can see I am bringing y'all the deep range shot creator like I told y'all I love the comparisons Brandon Ingram Kevin Durant and DeMar DeRozan y'all let's go ahead and check out what this deep range shot creator is gonna look like once we hit 99 with it y'all so something to consider with this build is always the fact once you max this build out so our stamina is gonna get boosted to 99 when it comes to your vertical you're gonna have a 96 y'all acceleration will be 90 and your speed is going to be a 93 our defensive rebound is going to be boosted to a 90 y'all when it comes to your offensive rebound if you add boost you will be in the 70s y'all block will be in the 90s if you add boost as well and that's going to get boosted to 84 without it but our perimeter defense is going to get up to 90 speed with ball will be an 86 ball handle will be an 84 and when it comes to the free throw that's going to be 96 same thing with the three pointer at a 96 mid-range shot is going to be an 86 post control will be 87 sandy dunk will be 70 we're gonna have an 88 driving dunk and an 87 driving layup y'all so off the bat i can easily say that this is one of the better builds that i'm bringing y'all especially with the fact that it's a rare build and it has a really nice bad setup y'all so let's go ahead and get right into the first setup when it comes to the defense what we're gonna hit is gonna be intimidator on gold y'all from here i love the fact that we're also going to be able to get rim protector on hall of fame and we're also going to be able to put on clamps on gold as well now from here you could really do anything you want but again chaser and artist is a really good batch to have on so if you want to consider that go ahead and drop rim protector from hall of fame to gold and go ahead and put it on or you could leave it on and take off one badge point when it comes to clamps or intimidator just to get that badge on for animations but again you don't need to do that how i'm showing y'all here is a perfect Perfect way to go as well now when it comes to the finishing we're going to go with gold posterizer from here we're also going to go ahead and put on hall of fame heat seeker y'all that badge is going to boost your takeover really quick and now the last hall of fame badge you could go with a couple different ones you could go with pro touch giant slayer lob city finisher or you could go with fearless finisher y'all you at least want to keep on lob city finisher just so you can catch oops at an effective rate and be really efficient with it as well now from here we're going to go ahead and get right into the playmaking so the first badge that i'm going to put on is going to be quick first step on gold now from here we're going to go ahead and put on handles for days and we get this badge on hall of fame now we have six remaining upgrades available from here you could pick any of these badges you want to go with i'm going to go with space creator if you want to break ankles to help you out when it comes to the dribbling i would definitely throw on stop and go on gold but for sake of this video to get the hall of fame badge i'm going to go with silver stop and go and hall of fame space creator now let's go ahead and get right into the next category which is going to be the shooting y'all so from here the badges we're going to put on is first going to be the essential ones y'all so what i'm going to put on here is going to be hot zone hunter on hall of fame as well as hall of fame deep threes y'all i love the fact that this build gets both of these badges on hall of fame makes it much better when it comes to the shooting y'all because y'all know the difference from gold to hall of fame it just makes you a more lethal shooter all around now from here the badge that i'm going to put on is going to be silver corner specialist at least and i'm going to put on hot shot on hall of fame as well you could really upgrade your corner specialist to hall of fame and then also throw on catch and shoot in hall of fame or even put on your green machine the silver you could drop corner specialist as well as catch and shoot both the silver as well or you could go with bronze catch and shoot there's a couple different setups that you could run with i feel like dead eye is a good badge that you can run but i feel like sometimes it's not needed i just feel like there's times where you could hit in people's faces without the badge and then there's times you could definitely hit in people's faces more often with it y'all so it's really just going to come down to what you want to do 
Blinders is another really good badge that you could consider to run, but I'm going to end up going with Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot and Hall of Fame Corner Specialist and Silver Green Machine, y'all. Now, that's the setup we're going to go with 11, 22, 13, and 10. If y'all watch this entire video through, thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family as well as any supporters that came through and stayed through the entire video. I just want y'all to know I'm going to continue to grind these out, and I just want y'all to know that I'm thankful for y'all. But, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family and auto supporters, be sure to run up those likes. Be sure to turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. And be sure to share with your family and friends, y'all. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.